Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, today we are revisiting my save customs run. Um, there's a couple of reasons why. Number one, it was one of the first videos we did. Um, the video quality wasn't that good. Number two, it's my best video ever. Um, and I feel like I could have done a better job now because I've got a couple hundred more hours in Tarkov on customs. And so that way, I figured out a couple more things. We're going to go through the map very quickly. This is a safe loot run. Um, as safe as it can get in Tarkov, obviously. Um, like I said in the other video, um, Tarkov is very not safe. So, um, there's been loads of changes to the game itself with weight systems and whatever. But it doesn't really matter for this run. Uh, most of the stuff you'll find is not that heavy. So let's just stim up so we can actually keep sprinting. Um, first off, um, as you can see on the map, this is where we are. This is your first stash right here. From here, you want to start running towards um, the corner here. Now keep in mind, um, on customs, people say, ah, oh, you can't find that much good stuff. Trust me, if I do one of these runs, I net anywhere between 200 and 700k. It's another stash here. It's all dependent on um, if you do get into some PvP or if you don't. Um, if you do get into PvP and you win, obviously you're going to make a little bit more from their gear if they're geared. There's another stash in here in this bush that you might want to find um, from here. And this is very different from the um, first video. Uh, this area right here is actually not that contested. There's a couple of scavs, but most of the time people stay away from this side over here in general. Now, for this, you need the checkpoint key, the military checkpoint key. In here, you have here you have a grenade box, ammunition box, um, weapons can spawn over here. You have another little ammo box there. Um, this room is really 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 worth it there's loads of items that can spawn in here and um yeah just just use this room i didn't in the past but it's a nice little area to search for you guys um now from there i'm going to run all the way to the corner here now in the first um safe customs guide we did we missed a couple of um of stashes as well um i really feel like i could have done a better job um but that's the nice thing about tarkov as well you learn and you learn and you learn um and that way every couple months expect updates if i learn new stuff stash right there then from here there's another stash all the way on top of the hill here. By the way, guys, um, if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Um, and I stream on Twitch every day of the week. So I would really like to meet some more of you guys in the stream. We always have loads of fun. And uh, the community is growing and growing. Other stash. When I made the first customs video i think i was at like 300 subscribers and we're closing in on 800 now uh, that's in two months time now this stash we actually missed in the uh, other one the other video right here which is definitely worth grabbing if you are low on meds i don't recommend going here but in there in this little hut as you can see there there's a med box which you can search from here you want to cross over to the train but i do i do feel like you can skip this stash because most of the time this one is going to be looted um the other ones sometimes some of them are looted but most of the time people don't really go for them and i don't understand why um there's another stash here you really have to wiggle in there a little bit to search it especially if you have a longer weapon what I've been hearing from uh, other people is that I've, I've been getting comments on that video like oh, all the stashes are always looted, this and that. I don't think so. Like I don't find that. Um, I've never heard anything from my stream say that. Maybe it's different on American servers because I, I do know that most of my um, 
audience is American. For some reason. Americans and Germans seem to love me. <laughs> no one knows why. So from here, there's a stash here. Down there. But there's also one here, which is a little bit more risky. Um, because you have to get close to the gas station. But it is worth it. Um, pretty safe behind this wall. And a nice thing, if Rashala is anywhere in the gas station, you can hear him from here. You will hear a couple of scabs. And you can decide to check it out or, or you don't. But it's nice to know if he's there. Especially if you are on the quest where you need to kill him and grab his golden TT. I feel like uh, that's one of the tasks people get stuck on quite often. Now, all this except for the checkpoint and that one stash at the um, on the hill there has been pretty similar. But here, after these two stashes, it's going to be very different. This is one stash. Then you have another one under the piping here. But this is, after this one, this is where the old loot run ended. And nowadays, I always run it further along. I didn't know about these stashes um, before, which is silly. That's Tarkov. You can't know everything. So you want to run through here. For you newer guys, if you come across here, I always recommend zigzagging between these and taking a good look because you want some cover here. If you just run like straight through here, all along this area, everywhere, there can be another player, scabs, whatever, um, and it's very risky. So I do recommend sticking like to some cover. Same goes for here. You can go all the way around the wall there and just follow along the wall. I would never recommend going through here. This is what players call elbow. Um, there's only one way in, one way out. If you come across a duo at the other side there, and one of them circles around and catches you in the back here, there's no way you can go. So that's a very dangerous area to be in. Now from here, there's a jacket in that building you can go for if you want to. Um, I normally don't because it's only one jacket. Um, if you want to jump down here, Keep in mind, this is on on the way to your extraction anyway, because this is the extraction I always recommend. In this bush, you have another stash. And then down here, you have another one. In this bush. Now, if this is your extract, the light will be on if it's activated and you can get out there. Otherwise, you'll have to continue. I see loads of people and I hear loads of people saying when they see me extract through this side, like, why do you extract there? Because people... No one is going to be here most of the time. On the other side, at the bridge and at the train there, we have to pass to get to the, um, what is it called? Crossroads. It's very, very contested. And you have to run through this entire open, long strip of just road um, where people can ambush you from the sides. There's like four or five um, sides you can go through. Right here. You have the cover of this wall. The chances of someone actually being here. You can just jump over here. The chances are so slim. Like once I get here, I already know I'm safe. Probably 99 out of 100 raids. And you can just run towards the extract. I've never been killed here on my way to the extract, I don't think. Maybe once. I think once I got in the fight right here. But it's very safe. Now if you jump up here... There's three jackets here. You always want to search these uh, on your way out. And then afterwards, you can just run into the um, woods right here. And this is where your extraction is. You can just run in. Go prone in one of these bushes. And that's it. So as you can see, it's quite a little bit different from the way I recommended you doing it. Um, the first time, there's loads of additions. Maybe it's not that different at the start. Where we started, all the stashes, of course, we're still looting. But this loot run, um, doing it this way, it adds the checkpoint. It adds three more stashes, adds some jackets. It adds some more information. So I hope that's um, helpful for you guys. It's a very simple um, little loot run. It's very nice to do when you're new, just because you have to be in custom so often um, doing quests. 
Uh, for example, if you have to do a quest in dorms and you don't get a good spawn for dorms, uh, where you can be there first, I recommend always just running this loot run if you're still looking for money um, and looking for those items you need found in raid later on in your Tarkov progression. So I also have a video covering all the items you have to find in raid. I'll link it in the description down below because this loot run has definitely helped me a lot um, in finding all those items. I really hope this is helpful for you guys. Um, if it is, let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Eddie, out.